That's not good. So here is the bottom line I want all of you to get. Nobody's going to save you. The feds aren't going to save you. The economy isn't going to save you. Only you can save yourself. And that is what this show is all about. What can I teach you? What can you learn from the callers so that you can take the actions that actually help you, that save you, so that nobody else has to do it, but you can do it yourself. Now, I want to go right to our next guest. It happens to be a woman by the name of Stacy, who is a professional in the real estate industry. And she's coming to us tonight from L.A., and I hear that you are in a predicament that the economy, the real estate market, has gotten to you, my dear Stacy, even though you are a real estate professional. Is that true? Definitely. I've been in the real estate industry for approximately 10 years now. Um, last year, I made approximately uh, right at around $136,000. This year, I will be lucky if I hit the $40,000 mark. Um, the change in market has caused such, such a... Uh, a damaging effect on my family, um, my income. Before property taxes, before anything else, about $3,000 a month for you, is that correct, just to keep yes. this home? Yes. Is our rentals that you could rent right now cheaper than what you're paying for mortgage, property tax, and everything else? Of course. They are. All right. I'm going to, how much is your house currently worth? Um, my house is currently worth $550,000. With no equity in it whatsoever, is that correct? No, not at all. Um, I owe right now approximately 600000 600000 so we're only 50000 yes. right now under water. However... It's increasing all the time because you don't have the money to spend the 3000 4000 a month on that and keep your two daughters feeding them and everything else, correct? Exactly. All right, here's what I want you to do, and I don't say it lightly. You're not going to like what I'm about to say. But in this know. particular situation, you either need to try to do a short sale back to the bank, and for all of you who don't know what that means, it's you find a buyer, you sell it for what you can, the bank agrees that the money that you owe them, you're short, but they'll settle. If you can't, you are ultimately already bankrupt, my dear Stacy, aren't you? Yes. You are, <laughs> I know. And, yes. and so legally what you want to do is you want to stop the debt from growing and growing and growing. So if you yes. can't sell this property or find a job very quickly that pays you more, and I don't think you're going to at this particular point in time, do you? Um, well, you know, that's, that's the goal and that's my focus. Um, I haven't looked at selling the home as an option at this point. Um, I'm determined to secure um, employment um, so that I'm able to to save my house for myself and my children. The problem here is I'm asking you not to do that because you're attached okay. to this thing and a home is not a whole. A home is something that has a foundation that you build on because the way you are paying your bills, your, your, what you owe is increasing every month. The real estate yes. market, in my opinion, is not going to be good for another year or two. Please listen to me. There are other homes you can do this again. I would start over where I can afford to live somewhere for right now for $40,000 a year, and I would just go with it from there, even if that means I have to move out of the Los Angeles area. So please remember my one line and one line only. A home is not a hole. And you are digging a hole that is so deep and you're digging it deeper and deeper every month, that I'm afraid soon it's going to cave in on you rather than you right now being able to step out of it. You didn't fail. You just have to learn from your lessons to make this a success in the future.